Hey guys! Welcome back to Always Classy! Um, today I wanted to show you how to use the Sudo Clipless Curling Iron. Um, right now you can see I have it set on high. Um, just for reference, if you have this, um, the automatic button is so that it will turn off in 30 minutes. And I always keep that on because I can be very forgetful. Um, <clears throat> so, the reason you might say, like, um, Ness, you have curly hair. Right. But look at it. It's, like, untamely. I did this curl, actually, with it. Um, it's just, like, not a cute look. It's just all different curls, different tightness. So I use this. Um, what I do is I shower at night, and then I just go to bed with my hair wet. Wake up in the morning like a crazy person, and then um, I can do this and curl my whole head with beautiful same size curls um, in about 20 minutes to half hour. That's like from start to finish. And I just find this really useful. It's a super cute look. You can pull it back. You can put it on the side. You can do a side ponytail. And you can see, like, I have pretty short hair. Um, but this really does work for all types of hair, sizes. Um, and I consider my hair to be pretty dry and very curly. So um, what I do is normally I would clip my hair back. But I want to show you guys how to do it on a longer part of my hair. So what you would do is and I always start at the bottom and you want to do this in like two inch sections so I start by pinning my hair back I just get it like a little clip and my hair holds curl really easily um the only thing that I put in this was I mean the smallest bit of mousse a little bit of like a serum and a heat protectant spray and a little bit of leave-in conditioner um, I just use that. I find that it keeps my hair pretty soft and curls it really easily. So, I use the glove because I'm clumsy. And what I do, now if I'm straightening my hair, I get a round brush and I brush my hair off. But I find that this works better when you don't um, brush through your hair. It just depends on what kind of hair you have. But since I have curly hair, I don't brush it. So what you want to do is you want to take it right by the thing and I kind of run it over it a little bit. I find that this kind of smooths it out. Then you want to wrap it around like so. And you can do tighter curls, smaller curls. You just have to however tight you curl your hair around it. You hold it there. Now I have very curly hair and I'm trying to redefine my curl, so I hold it there for a little longer than five recommended seconds. Then you just pull it out, kind of twist it down, and voila. So see, you can see how it's just like so much better. Oh my gosh. I love it. So I'm going to do that again for you. I pull, you know, about like a two inch section. You can see. Take it. I wrap it around. And this is why I use the gloves because that way I can kind of be a little less careful and get it done quicker. I can do it with the glove, but I just like to do it faster. Hold it. Pull it out. That's what she said. Uh, <laughs> and voila. Now see, you can tell the difference between this curl and this curl. Like so. So doing bigger sections gets you more of a wave. Doing smaller sections, like we'll try this one. Um, this is about half an inch section. Gets you tighter curls. And then I kind of face it upside down sometimes. Look at that was like five seconds. It just look how beautiful it is. Oh, I love this curling iron. Um, I got this off of Folica. I searched an online coupon. I got a free heat protectant bag. And this for seventy dollars. That includes shipping. Um, I really love it. I love all things to do. Hope I'm saying that right. 
And so again, um, you just take, I guess I'm going to start taking smaller sections. Because I actually want my hair to be curly. I just want it to be more defined. So I'm going to take smaller sections. Hold it there for about 5 to 10 seconds. Let it go. Pull it off. Ta-da! Easy now. Beautiful. Love it. And then after this, I just spray it with a little hairspray. Actually, a lot of hairspray because my hair gets frizzy. Um, I use either Aussie. It smells good. Or just any sort of like cheap extra hold hairspray. Um, I find that this really works and I do it on my, all my friends. Alright, so here is the final look. Um, you see I can I kind of flattened my bangs a little bit so they weren't so curly. And um, you can see I just have like that really pretty Marilyn Monroe kind of like curly bob. Super cute and fun. Um, I also did a cat eye with, um, a bottom liner. I did hyacinth on my lid, onyx for the top, and indigo for the bottom. Um, because I didn't want to go get my black eyeliner for my bottom. And then I created this lip gloss by using a little bit of our new, um, Pretty Amazing, sorry, our new Pretty Amazings in... Ambition. So I just dabbed like a little few dots on that and then I used birthday cake. So I think that this is just like the cutest look ever. Um, I have an exam today so I wanted to look really cute and feel good about myself and I also wanted to procrastinate because I need to study. But um, yeah so I hope you guys find this inspirational. Let me know what you guys do with your hair and your hair to do um, revolution and I hope that it works out for you.